Campus Living Villages, which runs the Sonoda Hall of Residence, says it has added extra security for the safety of students and will make any changes the independent investigators recommend. In a statement released to Checkpoint a few minutes ago, CLV's Group Managing Director, John Schroeder, says the independent investigation by former High Court Judge Kit Toogood will be thorough. He says, as a father of five university and school-aged children, I am deeply perturbed and want an answer to the same question this investigation is considering. How was this young man missed? That young man is, of course, Mason Pendris, whose body lay undiscovered in his room at the Sonoda Hall of Residence for at least four weeks. His stepfather, Anthony Holland, told Checkpoint last night he wanted answers as his son's body was only discovered when another student climbed onto the roof of the apartment block to look into his window. Mr Holland told us nobody noticed his son was missing despite him not turning up to lectures or for meals. Sonoda won't be offering accommodation for first-year students next year. It says that was a joint decision it made with Canterbury University. But tonight we can reveal another student disappeared from Sonoda six years Years earlier and nobody noticed he was missing either. RNZ in-depth journalist Max Toll has written of his own experience at the Hall of Residence. In 2013 Max Toll moved into Sonoda but later moved out. He kept paying the bills and apparently his departure went unnoticed. I asked Max what led him to that particular Hall of Residence in the first place. I lived with my parents for a couple of years and flatted for a year and then I went to live overseas for a year and when I came back uh, to do a postgraduate course it was really quite a tight time frame um, and just for convenience I decided to live at one of the halls but being an older student, being a postgraduate student I was looking for something a bit more private at the same time and Sonoda really stood out for me. It was sort of marketed towards the older, uh, I guess more keep to themselves students uh, which, yeah, really appealed to me. And uh, to be honest, that was really the experience that I had. So can you tell me what it was like to live there? Did you ever see these resident assistants and, and um, what are the living arrangements like? So there were a bunch of uh, separate buildings. Within my building, at least, there were four corridors, two downstairs, two upstairs, and four or five people living on each corridor. Um, there was a common room, which I really didn't go into very much, but, I, you know, you might see the RA in there now and again. Uh, there were the odd movie nights, board game nights, the odd events organised, but again, I can't really remember too many people going to those. Uh, it was a fine place to live. Uh, it was relatively inexpensive and uh, again you know I was sort of left to my own devices and whilst I got to know a few of the people in my corridor I didn't really mingle too much with the people in the rest of the halls there weren't really too many opportunities to do that and I mostly spent a lot of time uh, away from Sonoda. So did you ever uh, well have cause to talk to the resident assistants or did they know who you were? No. No, I don't think I ever had cause to talk to them. Uh, may have been a passing conversation at some point, uh, but no, I really didn't have much to do with them. Uh, there were only two of them for what was quite a big hall, so they were managing a large group of students, but um, no, I don't think they ever learned my name, for instance. When you moved out, what happened? Yes, yeah, so um, towards the back half of the school year, I uh, started seeing someone and um, we became close and uh, I would essentially moved in with, with, the, with her, my, with my partner, um, and really only came back to my room at Sonoda once a week maybe, just to sort of change, change, change clothes, pick up a few uh, belongings, something like that. Um, and yeah, for, for about two or three months I was living with uh, my girlfriend essentially. And uh, yeah, weeks went by. No one at the university would contact me. Uh, one of the per one of the people who was living in uh, my corridor alongside me did get in touch just to double check. You know, I was okay. I think uh, he sort of assumed that I had moved in with uh, this person, but uh, was just double checking to make sure that that I had. Um, and yeah, I mean, realistically, uh, no one really knew I was gone. So. To be clear, Max, while one student got in contact after a number of weeks, nobody official from the actual residence noticed that you had disappeared from there? No. Uh, no. Plain and simple. 
So when the Vice-Chancellor of Canterbury University says that the circumstances of Mason Pendris's death are, are inconceivable, do, do you agree with that characterisation? Mason's death is tragic. Um, I want to make it clear that I'm not trying to minimise what happened to him and the fact that he went, his body went four weeks without being discovered is also tragic and uh, I suppose it is in some ways hard to comprehend but at the same time having lived in Sonoda, having experienced Sonoda life, having experienced uni hall life, I think the, chan the vice chancellor is completely wrong. It's not inconceivable. It's entirely conceivable. When I, when I saw the, when I read the, the story when it came out originally, um, I, 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 to be honest, I wasn't surprised, uh, not even remote, remotely surprised. You know, university is becoming increasingly quite a distant experience. You know, you've got uh, lectures that are videotaped so you can watch them in your bedroom or at home. You've got tutorials being reduced at some universities because they're trying to save money. You know, I think you could get a degree by uh, staying at home and maybe turning up for the exams or once or twice a year. That, that's sort of the university experience. And I think other halls, compared to Sonoda might be different. Sonoda is, as I said, quite a private experience, more private than, say, University Hall at Canterbury. But uh, no, to call it inconceivable, I, I think is wrong. Um, I don't think it's the question we should be asking, or I don't think it's what we should be saying at this point in time. And you can read all about Max Toll's uh, experience at the hall in his piece in the in-depth section on rnz.co.nz.